What's up, homie? It's great to see you. So a couple days ago, I made this video on how to create a news lower third in OBS Studio. It had all the scrolling text, and it was really cool and fun. After I was done with it, I thought to myself, damn, why didn't I create information on how to spin a logo in 3D space? So I kind of shelved the thought, and I was reading some comments one day, and sure enough, Ricky Solomon chimes in and says, Hi, Scott, my deep request, please put up a video on how to spin or rotate a logo for OBS Studio. And I responded, no way, dude. How did you just read my mind? I'm working on the video, and that is why we are here right now. So what this video will cover is absolutely the easiest way to create a spinning logo in 3D space for OBS Studio. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live streaming. If you want access to all the topics involved with making a news lower third or news overlay for OBS Studio, go into this description and check out all the topics that I've created for this topic. It gets you to where you want to go fast. All you have to do is find the topic, click the link, and you're there. Subscribe and click the bell for new notification on all these wicked cool topics for OBS Studio. Here's what we're gonna cover in this tutorial. We'll start out by identifying the website that does this for us. It's a really cool site, I guarantee you're gonna love it. Then we'll get into the available animation types. There's a whole bunch, but out of that grouping, there's about four or five that we'll use, and I will review those for you. Then we'll get into how to generate a smooth animation. The end result will be that 60 frame per second kind of look where it's really smooth and professional. Then I will show you the available image formats that you can use to import the images that you will spin. Then I'll get into uh, the formats that are available when exporting the graphic out of the website. And then I will show you how to import it into OBS Studio. And the end result will be a super professional spinning logo for your live streams. Your friends are gonna be like, damn. So I can't wait to show you. Let's get some. Okay, the website, where do you go to do all this cool stuff? It is called 3D gifmaker.com. I do not call it a GIF. It is a GIF. <laughs> no GIFs! <laughs> if you get here, you may notice this little prompt that says, this site took many hours to make and it offers a free service. Please consider whitelisting it to continue using it. And basically, the poor guy just wants to make some money with banners. So I have Brave. I click the lion head up here in the upper right-hand corner and just turn shields off. That way... The guy can make some money for all the effort that he's put into this. I can surely understand why he requests that. Okay, let's talk about animation types. And of course you have this pull down that you can select and it gives you all the available animations here, but it really doesn't give you a preview as to what you're selecting. So I would recommend the best way to get a preview is to click the little blue question mark and it takes you to another page and you get this nice preview. Now. If you scroll down, you'll notice that there's a bunch of wacky ones. There's a sun and planet. There's a rotating donut. A lot of these you're not probably going to want to use. I'd say that you'd probably want to dig into the 360 spin, the horizontal rotating cube, the diagonal cube. There's one called pyramid. There's a thick 360. Those are the ones you're going to want to use. When you make your selection, I'll select the horizontal rotating cube. It puts you back to the main page, but it adds that selection in the dropdown. So it makes it so much easier to select what you want. And this is one of the many reasons why I love this website. Now, if you notice that the frames being used are kind of, it looks like to be about 15 to 20 frames per second. It's kind of clunky and it looks weird. I don't think that that's what you'd want to select for OBS Studio. I mean, if you're super concerned about file size, sure, you could go at this level. But really, you want to create sort of a nice, smooth animation. So what I recommend that you do is take the total frame slider and bring it all the way to the right. And then take the speed and bring it up to, I don't know, 40, 50. And look at that nice, super smooth motion. It almost looks like it's style, like a cascading style HTML kind of thing, JavaScript. Super slick. The number of loops, I wouldn't recommend going anywhere beyond zero because you can always take the animation that you put into OBS Studio and just loop it there. So by increasing the number of loops, you're making the file size large for no reason really. So I wouldn't even make the loops anything more than zero. 
uploading images. There's more than meets the eye. This website is powerful. Let me explain. Number one, transparent ping 24s are acceptable. Number two, animated GIFs are acceptable. Number three, in order to see the extra power of this website, you must initially upload your first image. So I'm gonna click the green button here. I'll select my logo, hit OK. So it's just cycling one graphic. Do you see here, all of a sudden it's revealed a upload other side image because I've selected the 360 spin animation. You don't see this unless you initially upload that image. Now I can select side two, select a graphic, hit OK. They're the both same dimension. Now it cycles two images. Now this gets really interesting if I go in and select horizontal rotating cube, for example. Now I can select side three and side four. I think I'm running out of graphics here. I'll use this animation. Hit open. Look at that. How cool is that? So there's a bunch that have more options. One is horizontal rotating cube, 360 spin. Thick 360 spin, 180 spin is another one. And there's even one called Pyramid. Check that out. You obviously are going to want to turn off the background because it makes the spinning cube more trick when placing it over other layers in OBS Studio. The question of the day is what file format should you select when importing the graphic into OBS Studio. The benefits of the format on the right, which is WebM, creates a file size that is half the size of an animated GIF graphic. The problem is, for some reason, when you download this file to your computer, it does not work in OBS Studio, regardless as to whether it is a transparent background or not. I don't know why, it's got something to do with the codec, it just will not work. If you know any way to get that to work, maybe it's got to get repaired in some other program, possibly FFmpeg. I don't know. I'd like to get some insight on it. I need to dig a little bit longer. So really, I'm forced to select Download GIF to make this work. So I'll download that to my computer, and we'll bring it into OBS. Setting this up in OBS Studio is dead simple. Here I have a scene with the news overlay that I used back in the other video. And I will simply drag the transparent GIF that was created by the website into this. And it will drop it at the top of the stack. So no matter where I drag this, it will overlay all the other layers in the OBS source list. And I'll put it right here. And I'll just nudge it a little bit with my down arrow and click out so it's not highlighted with a red box. And we are in business. Pretty slick, huh? I will be providing a link to all the videos related to creating three-dimensional cube logos that spin automatically, along with some information on how to make that news overlay. You can click that link right here. It'll be expanding. I'm going to be working on a code pen version of a rotating logo that on a box that will be slightly tilted to give you more of a three-dimensional feel to it. So stay tuned for that information. Remember, there are links in the description that will take you to all the topics that you can easily access. I will catch you over there. Best wishes. Stay strong and keep fighting.